If you're investing your money, saving for retirement, you've likely heard about stocks and bonds. But are there alternatives you should consider? That's the question we're putting to Daryl Bryant today. He's the president of D. Bryant Retirement Strategies and host of Retirement Strategies Radio on KFAB in Omaha. I was just listening to the show over the weekend. Daryl works with people who are at or near retirement. It is his specialty. Good morning, Daryl. It's Good nice morning, to see you. Good morning, Mary. Nice to see you. Hey, we've talked in the past about diversifying your portfolio, but if right. we're focusing on stocks and bonds, is that the extent of it or is there a way to diversify with alternatives? Yeah, that's a great question. Listen, when you get ready to, I, I have another acronym for okay. you today. Okay, the acronym is SIP, uh -huh. S-I-P, SIP. So when we get ready to retire or as we're moving closer to retirement, what we want to do more than anything else is prepare to uh, produce income, right? So in our acronym uh, of SIP, S is for safer. What we want to do is we want to try to reduce volatility, but we, we don't control the stock market. Mm -hmm. We can't just eliminate volatility, so we w simply want to reduce exposure to that. Okay, so and the only way to do that is to identify what in your portfolio is carrying more risk. We mm -hmm. have tools to do that. What is what is my downside risk right now, right? We have clients in coming every single day that are interested in understanding you know, is my portfolio safe? You know, I, I feel like I have the same thing I've had forever, mm -hmm. and here I am two years away from retirement. Is this smart? And generally, the answer is no. Mm. So we want to safeguard those, mm -hmm. uh, uh, safeguard the assets. So that's the S. And that brings us to I. Yeah, I is for income. So when we get ready to retire, the problem with the reti for the retiree, Mary, is that we are in charge of creating an income. So a, a couple that we just had in yesterday, really not terribly educated on financial matters and that's fine mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's typical because we all kind of live in silos don't we mm -hmm. and we have our own areas of specialty sure, that we I do. know my business but I don't know yours that well <laughs> right <laughs> I think that's versa. most people yeah. yeah that's right so uh, what we're trying to do is create income and we have to do that predictably we have to create our own pension because mm -hmm. we don't have dad's pension so now we have our life savings mm -hmm. and we're supposed to generate income that's supposed to last a lifetime a lot of people don't realize that we can go out right now and and get our hands on uh, a return of 7% per year, right? 7% per year toward our income. Call the office, we'll talk about uh -huh. it. 7%, we can turn our income on anytime we'd like, and that income lasts our entire life. And it doesn't matter if you live to be 140, okay? But you're talking about generating income in retirement. Yeah, we have You're not working anymore to make that money. Yeah, it's just and, investing stuff. Yeah, and here's the problem is uh, you work for 30 years, mm -hmm. right? And then you think you're going to stretch those life savings and not work for 30 years, right? So our entire adult life, we're thinking we're going to be able to not work for about half mm -hmm. of it. Okay, which sounds kind of crazy on the on the surface, doesn't it? So if we don't uh, behave like the pension managers of old, right, mm -hmm. back when Dad had a pension, yeah. and create our own pension, then we're going to have a problem because when the mar stock market declines, if we're exposed to that, if we're trying to generate income, we're going to have a problem. We still have to have our income. We still have to have, keep the lights on, mm -hmm. right? And yet our portfolio is devalued. We can't have that. So having safety valves built into your retirement plan is absolutely key. So, so there's the I. Safe. Income, right. what does P stand for? P is for predictable lifestyle, and that is what everyone is looking for. Mm -hmm. So if I have reduced my risk from equity exposure, mm -hmm. if I've created income streams that I can't outlive as well, that, I didn't say eliminate, by the way, equity exposure, right? We need to have some equity exposure, okay, meaning stocks or stock funds and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So we're going to reduce that. We're going to create some income that we can't outlive as our base, our foundation, and then uh, we can enjoy a predictable lifestyle, which is exactly what everybody is seeking. Everybody mm -hmm. has an idea of what their lifestyle is supposed to yeah. look like at retirement, and it doesn't really matter what that is or what the cost is, mm -hmm. but what they're saying to me is, don't mess with it. Okay, this is what I want to do, uh -huh. and I want to do it on a daily basis. So we have to create that, and it's a lot of fun to do it. Right. I'd like to be able to go play golf. I'd like to be able to go on trips, right? I mean, right. there are some things people think is. about with yeah. their time. Yeah, whatever um, They is. have that wish list. So yep. um, SIP, that's the takeaway with this visit. But I'm also wondering um, about interest rates. You know, the Fed recently raised them. You yes. know that. But our viewers might have seen a headline about it. How does that affect um, <clears throat> investors' portfolios? Well, what you're going to see, interest rates, uh, let's talk about stocks and bonds. Um, first of all, bonds. Bonds have what we call uh, an inverse relationship to rates. So when the Fed raises rates, if you own a bond, and let's say that that bond is paying 4%, and now I'm interested in buying a bond. In fact, I'd like to buy your bond, okay? And you say, I'll, I'll sell you my bond, mm -hmm. okay? Um, but I say, listen, Mary, but interest rates have gone up, and your bond is paying 4 I can go out and get 5 
So I'm not, I, I would be happy to buy your bond. I like that company, but I'm not going to pay you what you paid for it because mm -hmm. I can go out and get five. Mm. Okay. So the underlying value of that is going to decline in your bond. Okay. But the opposite is true too. Where stocks are concerned, which you asked, how does how do interest rates uh, affect stocks? Mm -hmm. If if interest rates go up. Doesn't the cost of borrowing go up mm -hmm. for everybody, yeah. including companies? So if the cost of borrowing goes up for a company, then the profitability would go down, mm -hmm. okay? And therefore, the stock price will go down, uh, at least initially as well, typically. All right, so we've talked about SIP. We've talked about interest rates. Yep. Let's talk about tools mm. and what you're bringing to some of our viewers today. And this is where you want to be quick to the horn because Daryl and his team at D. Bryant Retirement Strategies, they, they believe in education. That's why he spends as much time as he does to sort of go in, in depth on some of these matters. What are you giving, Daryl, to the first 10 people who call and make an appointment with you today? Yeah, well, we ha have a couple of, uh, of books, um, uh, both written by Patrick Kelly. Mm -hmm. uh, one is The Five Retirement Myths, your choice. Uh, mm -hmm. Five retirement myths uh, and also stress free retirement, mm -hmm. uh, which you see on the screen there. Uh, Patrick is a wonderful writer and breaks things down into layman's terms. He and I are very good friends, uh, and you will love it's an actual, believe it or not, it's an actual mm -hmm. page turner of a financial book. So uh, I think people will like it. And if you'd like, call 402-932-2141, make an appointment, and, and go in and talk to Daryl or a member of his team about your life. Are you ready to retire? Do you have some discomfort about it? Because you, like, is your, is your plan solid? Um, there's no need to be stressed out because he knows what you need to do. You've just got to go in and talk about it, and he'll customize a plan for you. And then um, he'll join us again next week. But in between his visits, keep in mind, he'll be on KFAB uh, talking about Retiring successfully. That's his specialty. Daryl, yeah. always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank very you. Much. Me too. Well, guess